like all of us, you were once like a student hacker and you had all these same interesting ideas. Could you share with us a quick story like about your first hack or something along those lines? Yeah, you guys seem really wholesome, by the way. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, the, I mean, probably I can't tell, you know, all the things that I did because that would probably get me in trouble. Um, but, uh, you know, I think some of them I'd be locked up for, you know, I don't know. But uh, I, mean, I did all the basic things, you know, like hack the school computer, uh, like you know, all the, the sort of, you start off with the basic stuff, like do a dictionary hack, uh, you know, look for the default uh, username, uh, password that came with the, the thing. Like, okay, what's this, who's the sysadmin? Uh, they probably taped their password under the desk, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> by the way, that can get you very far. <laughs> Like, what's the Wi-Fi password? Check the router. <laughs> it's probably just safe there. Um, so, um, you know, and then there's like, you know, zero day exploits where there's like a, um, you know, some code error in, the, in a driver or in a, in a common library. Uh, you know, those, those, a bunch of those. Um, you know, there was like, you know, had sort of, I guess we had like a little, we did have a little computer club when I was, you know, in, in South Africa. And, um, and uh, you know, there was like, um, when, when compiling code, you could compile it to be encrypted. And then I had like uh, a, a, a bet with a friend of mine and said like, oh, you, there's no way you can uh, tell me what my code is because I'm going to compile it, encrypt it, run it, and then it's, it's and then delete it. Um, it's like, okay, well, you know, what actually happens is that when you, you go delete, unless you scrub the entire RAM of the system, it's still there. So mm -hmm. just like in general, you, you just like fill in the, the first few bytes and bingo, you got the, the, the whole, you know, here's your code. Um, it's just, you just basically poke around the memory, you know, fill, fill, in, the, fill in the gaps. The same for files, of course. Yeah. So, you know, people don't think, oh, I deleted my file. No, actually the computer just like, you know, deleted the first few bytes of the of the directory of the, of the basically the the disk allocation of, of that file, um, and you can totally just do you know um, just just read read all the bytes on the on the disk, and and you know, pretty much you're gonna get you're gonna get most of what was allegedly deleted. So unless you do a hard delete, it's still there, obviously. Um, yeah. So uh, it's amazingly, a lot of knuckleheads still don't realize that. <laughs> um, 